The center of a black hole is where the past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. Maybe. To truly grasp what a black hole is, we must first understand its two main features, the event horizon and the singularity. Let's start with the event horizon. Imagine the event horizon as the ultimate point of no return. It's like the edge of a waterfall in space, where anything that crosses it, light, matter, even time itself, gets swept irrevocably towards the center. Despite its ominous nature, the event horizon itself isn't a physical surface. You wouldn't actually feel crossing it. Based on our current understanding, at the very heart of the black hole lies the singularity. And here's why a singularity is the weirdest concept out there. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity is the result of the wrapping of space and time caused by massive objects. Inside a black hole, all the mass is crushed into an infinitely small and infinitely dense point where the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. As we know, the greater the gravitational field, the more space-time is curved, and consequently, the slower time flows relative to observers in weaker gravitational fields. That's time dilation. So at the singularity, space and time lose their separate identities, leading to a scenario where the concepts of past, present, and future lose their conventional meaning. While the idea of singularity is widely accepted, it's still a topic of intense debate and research. Some theorists believe that the singularity might not even exist as traditionally conceived, suggesting that future theories could revolutionize our understanding. Black holes also present a formidable challenge to physicists trying to understand the universe. While general relativity has provided a framework for understanding much about black holes, it hits a wall when it comes to their most extreme aspects. General relativity predicts that black holes have singularities at their centers where all mass is compressed into an infinitely small point, but this prediction leads to physical and mathematical paradoxes that have puzzled scientists for decades. Einstein's theory brilliantly describes how gravity works in the vastness of space, but struggles to handle the quantum mechanics governing the smallest parts of the universe. This mismatch is especially problematic at the singularity, where these two realms collide. Black holes challenge our notions of what happens to information and matter under extreme conditions. According to quantum mechanics, information cannot be destroyed. Yet, in theory, anything that falls into a black hole vanishes without a trace. This paradox is at the heart of what physicists call the information loss paradox. One of the most revolutionary ideas in black hole physics comes from Stephen Hawking. In the 1970s, Hawking proposed that information could be scrambled and emitted back into space by black holes. This is also known as the Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation arises from the quantum mechanical behavior of particles at the edge of the event horizon. Here, the intense gravitational forces of the black hole create an environment where pairs of particles and antiparticles can spontaneously appear as allowed by the uncertainty principle. Typically, these particle pairs annihilate each other almost immediately. However, near a black hole, if one of these particles falls into the event horizon, the other can escape before they have a chance to cancel out. This escaping particle particle steals a bit of energy from the black hole, seen from the outside as radiation emitted from the black hole. Traditionally, a singularity is viewed as the ultimate destiny of all matter falling into a black hole, where it's compressed to infinite density and a point of zero volume. This idea poses significant problems for physics, chiefly because it suggests a breakdown of the known laws of physics. However, Hawking radiation introduces a fascinating twist. As black holes emit radiation, they lose mass. This gradual loss of mass could mean that over astronomical timescales, a black hole could evaporate completely, leaving behind no singularity at all. Moreover, if singularities can indeed evaporate along with their black holes, this might imply that the universe avoids producing these points of infinity, which are so problematic for our theories. This insight bridges the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity, suggesting the universe may be self-correcting, avoiding the creation of physical infinities and preserving the continuity of information. But beyond these, black holes also inspire more speculative ideas, such as wormholes, and the potential for these cosmic phenomena to act as gateways to other universes or dimensions. To confront the bewildering extremes inside black holes, scientists have proposed advanced theoretical frameworks like string theory and loop quantum gravity. These theories aim to provide a more complete picture of the universe, one that unifies gravity with quantum mechanics. String theory suggests that the fundamental particles we observe are not point-like dots, but rather tiny vibrating strings. These strings can have different modes of vibration, each corresponding to a different particle type. 
In the context of black holes, string theory proposes that these singularities might not be singularities at all, but rather incredibly dense states of these strings potentially smoothing out the infinite densities predicted by general relativity. Loop quantum gravity takes a different approach. Instead of strings, it posits that the space itself is quantized, made up of tiny, discrete loops. These loops are woven into fabric that defines the structures of space and time. According to loop quantum gravity, the traditional picture of a singularity at a black hole's center gets replaced by a scenario where these quantum loops reach a tremendously high but finite density. This suggests that what we perceive as a singularity could actually be a quantum bridge to another area of the universe or even another universe altogether. Both string theory and loop quantum gravity are radical departures from the notion of point-like singularities and offer fascinating possibilities. For instance, if these theories are correct, they could mean that black holes are not just endpoints of matter, but gateways or bridges possibly leading to other parts of the cosmos. These theories not only help us address the information loss paradox, but also challenge our very notions of what space and time are at the most fundamental level. While the core of a black hole remains shrouded in mystery, ideas that challenge the existence of singularities are gaining traction. Some physicists propose that what we've thought of as singularities might actually be exotic states of matter or different phases of particle interactions. These are conditions so extreme and unfamiliar that our current understanding struggles to describe them. Emerging models suggest that within the core of a black hole, instead of infinite compression, there might be a balance between gravitational forces and quantum mechanical effects. This balance could prevent the formation of a traditional singularity, replacing it with something much more complex and structured. For instance, theories integrating effects of quantum mechanics with gravity, like those proposed in loop quantum gravity, envision a scenario where the core of a black hole could be a dense yet finite patchwork of space-time curvature. This curvature is so intense that it creates a stable core, avoiding the paradox of singularity. If these models prove correct, it would revolutionize our understanding of black holes. It suggests that black holes could have internal structures, potentially with unique properties governed by the laws of physics that are currently unknown. Such a paradigm shift not only has implications for black holes, but also our understanding of the early universe and the fabric of the cosmos itself. It could provide clues about the nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the ultimate fate of the universe. Before you leave, don't forget to watch the video on the right.